One time for the one time, your girl Alaracia has done it again. This is the classic version of a wig, no bleach knots, grids and knots showing, and this is the wig with bleach knots and a ball cap. And this is actually the old way of how I camouflage the grids in the past, but I wanted to find a new times a thousand way to make it look just like skin. So stick around towards the middle of the video for a next level technique that's so simple and only $10. Before I dish all the goods in the intro, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Larasia Andrea, like this video and share for every girl to see. Also, check out my previous videos on my playlist because I've been delivering some straight for y'all. Off camera, I did my ball cap method. If you guys haven't yet, click this card up top and check out that video because I give all the details about these products that I love. The only thing I did switch up was my lace spray in today's video. The wig I'm using today is from XRS Beauty. I'm using their new clean lace 13 by 6 wig. Fall season is approaching y'all and it's about that time to start introducing fall colored and highlighted wigs to my channel. This wig is in the color number four. It goes so perfectly with my skin tone and it makes my natural eyes pop. And it's a 200 density wig, which is unheard of really for Asian wig companies. Their standard or average density is around 150 to 180 density, but this wig from XRS Beauty is definitely full. So the hairline on this wig is pre-plucked, which is a good thing. It can save you a lot of time especially for those that struggle with plucking, but the knots are not bleached. I did end up bleaching the knots later off camera, but before I do that, I wanted to pre-customize the wig to fit my head first to make my life so much easier installing later on. With pre-customizing, I had to cut the lace further back and push the hairline back just because the front of the wig was a little bit too big for my liking. But I just wanna say, if you don't have a tiny head like mine, this wig would definitely fit a 21 to 22 inch circumference friends. After plucking the hairline to my liking and pushing it back closer to my ball cap, I used an eyebrow racer to cut the lace and the clean HD lace on this wig is super transparent. So that definitely is a plus for me because it blends in perfectly. And I also just wanted to mold down the parting space by spraying hairspray and using my hot comb to lay the hair down. So this has been the regular way I've been doing my wigs and that's by bleaching the knots and normally I would conceal the grids with makeup. But not today, girla. Today I'm using a product called Silicone Lace Melting Tape. This is actually a $10 product that's from Amazon and it's specifically made for wigs and not scar tape like we were using before in the past. I felt like the scar tape was definitely a lot thicker and this is super thin. Not only that, it comes in a roll of 1.5 yards so you can get almost a dozen uses from this depending on the size of your lace fronts they have two colors and clear and natural i ended up getting the natural but i also want to try to clear just to see if i like it later on to apply the tape i just pulled back the silicone from the paper and be careful doing this part sticky side down i put the tape about one centimeter behind the hairline to camouflage the beginning of the wig and i laid it all down to the back of the parting and any tape I did have left, I did put on the sides to blend those as well. This is what the parting looks like after applying to the wig and you can see the natural color still is not my and any dark skinned girl darker than me or my complexion scalp color. Honestly y'all, I'm sure after enough people buy this product and request more colors for different women of color, it will eventually be made down the line. But I just took my foundation powder and pat that on the tape and blow dried it down so that it melted into the silicone and blended right with like my natural scalp color. 
color. Now it's install time. I used my Snop Life lace spray for today's install. I actually was nervous on how well the wig would stick down because of the silicone tape, but everything merged pretty much perfectly. It could be because the silicone is just really adhering to the skin contact when I lay it down, but honestly, who knows? It's the bomb, go get it. So after I let the lace melt for 30 minutes, I moved on to the parting and plucked. I just wanted that silicone to peek a little bit more through to make it more believable. Then I molded down the front of the wig with hairspray and used my hot comb to lay any of the hairs down as well. As far as styling, I used this barrel iron brush to get a slight curl to the ends of the hair. And this also keeps the texture of the wig more coarse rather than that silky straight look. I've been kind of going a little bit more of the kinky straight route these days, but you can definitely just use a flat iron. And again, this wig is so full because of the 200 density. It is so bomb. I did go ahead and cut in some layers to frame my face a little bit more and I just brushed it out with this barrel brush from Sally Beauty. And that is the finished look, you guys. This wig is so bomb. I do love the fact that it is so full. Y'all know I love me a full wig. The hairline with the clean lace is so bomb. It blends in so well. And I hope you guys like my new idea of using silicone tape in the parting to make it look like real skin. Let me know in the comments how you guys love this video and as always can't wait to see you guys in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.